But by now, you might be just a little bit bored of We Are Rolling Along and Hot Cross Buns. And while these songs are really great, awesome beginner songs, sometimes it's nice to do things that are a little bit different, a little bit more fun, a little bit more just fluty. Here are some crazy awesome extended techniques that I've learned over the years. I'll share some with you. They're pretty easy to play as long as you can make a sound and do a little bit of extra things. You'll be able to do this also. The first thing I'll teach you is flutter tonguing. You hear flutter tonguing a lot in band and orchestra. It kind of sounds like a wild insect. It's really great for cool effects. It's used a lot in new music. The only thing you have to know how to do to flutter tongue is play the flute and roll your R's. So if you can roll your R's on your own, you can roll your R's and play the flute at the same time and create an awesome sound. Cool. That's flutter tonguing. It's used in all different kinds of situations jazz, classical, band, orchestra, solo. You name it, you can do it. Apart from flutter tonguing, another thing that is very, very common in the flute world, even more common than flutter tonguing, are trills. Trills are used to embellish a note, they're used to fluff it up, add some character. They're used a lot in Baroque, classical, contemporary, all over. A really easy trill to learn would be from an F. You know F, I've already taught you the F. It's the first finger down, these two also. Thumb, index finger in the right hand, pinky. Play an F, simply lift up your index finger in the right hand. Now you have a G. You've learned a new note and you've learned how to trill on an F. We'll start on an F and move your finger up and down really fast and you get an F trill. A lot more fun than just playing an F. Another cool trill that you already know without realizing is D to E flat. You remember that the only difference between a D and an E flat is the addition of your pinky. So move your pinky up and down. You'll go from a D to an E flat very fast, which will create a D trill. Another trill. If you've been wondering this entire time what these two funny keys are, they're trill keys. They're only for the specific purpose, minus helping out a few high notes, of trilling. It's very, very hard, as you might have noticed, to play from a C, which has the first finger and the pinky, to a D. That's a lot of hand movement. Can you imagine trying to trill from C to D really fast? I can't, I can't do it. It's very awkward. The addition of this second key is great. It makes the trill much easier, actually in the first key too. Play the first key with your middle finger, play a C, and lightly tap the first key up and down. And there you have a C to D trill. Another really cool thing we can do on the flute, but only if you have an open hold flute, is really bend the pitches with the fingering. Let's try a G sharp, finger a G, first finger down, middle finger, ring finger, and now we're going to add the pinky and the thumb. It's just like a G, but with the addition of the pinky. And slowly, as slow as you can, because that's way cooler, remove the ring finger and middle finger off of the holes. So you're exposing the holes. You're going from closed to open. Closed to open. Let's see what this sounds like on the instrument. that on a whole bunch of notes. That's, I think, the most fun. So we have the bending the pitch. And experiment. That's another great thing about crazy extended technique. A lot of it comes from just 
seeing what you can do with your own instrument. It doesn't have to be anyone else's idea. It can be purely your own. So see what other kind of pitches you can bend, what other kind of holes you can open to see what bend results. One last really fun flute thing is the growl. We can sing and play at the same time. Violinists can talk and play and eat and play. We can't do that. We can't even laugh and play. But we can sing and play at the same time, and it's really fun and cool. <laughs> And there you have the singing and playing growl. That's the last thing I have to teach you on the flute. I have one other extended technique to show you, and it's actually a different instrument. You could consider the piccolo extended technique from the flute. It's a tiny flute. In fact, everything that we play on piccolo sounds exactly one octave, or translated much higher than the flute. It's all the same fingerings, but it sounds so much higher and it has a completely different sound. You might recognize that famous march. That's really fun to play on piccolo. There's all kinds of cool things that you can do on piccolo. It's a totally different sound than the flute, and it's a wonderful addition to any orchestra or band. And there you have it, crazy stuff and extended technique on the flute and piccolo.